Sophie and Greg, and we are resellers from Boston. So what we do is we buy things and then we sell them online. We are sharing some finds that we had yesterday with you guys today. So we spent a total of $164.77. And we picked up 27 items. There's kind of a mix in here of stuff that we're really excited about, stuff that we kind of just picked up to have more stuff to list. We aim to post 25 items a day. So our strategy is not necessarily to pick up the most exciting items all the time, but just to have a lot of volume going into our closet every day. So we sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and the Real Real. And we'll talk a little bit about where we're planning to what we're planning to do with the stuff that we picked up today. This one was in Alston, right? No, this was in South End. Oh, South End. So this is the fancy stuff. <laughs> the fancy American Eagle fancy jeans that I picked up. <laughs> picked up was this blouse by TLA, which is an anthropology brand. I thought this was adorable. It's one of those drop waist shirts, I think is what it's called, or baby doll. I'm not totally sure. But I had one of these from Free People recently, and it sold very quickly. And it was a similar color, too. I found the Under Armour um, Patriots uh, t-shirt. They only charged me for a t-shirt, so it was a good deal. It was only $2. Um, it's a good-looking shirt. Under Armour too, and Patriots gear sells. More, more. Maybe, yeah, especially maybe, this time of year with the football yeah. season going on. And they're getting better, so maybe more people <laughs> will be more excited. <laughs> I picked up these Mountain Harbor pants. The comps are only looking in the twenty dollars range for these, uh, but we like picking things up. <laughs> this is a Stranger Things sweatshirt I found. Um, it's so nice the inside is really soft like yeah. never definitely never been washed honestly this is kind of a risk though this could sit for a while um i know stranger things are popular right now but uh maybe it'll come out of a new season somebody will want a sweatshirt but it is like brand new like she said and it's very soft and it looks like it feels was like it it's never been washed no i think it was full price oh yeah orange so that might have been a bad buy this next one didn't have great comps either, but athletic wear or lingerie has been selling really well, so I decided to go for it. It's from the anthropology brand Pure Plus Good. I think I've sold this once before. And it's sort of like riding leggings, riding dress, or riding pants, I think. I don't know. They're a size small. Are those leggings? Yeah, they're, they're kind of like thicker leggings. leggings. Yeah. They're like a other oh, medium. They're those leggings that are kind of leggings, kind of pants. Full price? Yeah, they're full price. We're gonna list them for uh, probably twenty nine dollars. Wow. We kind of post things at twenty nine dollars or nineteen dollars. What brand was it again? Anthropology. Oh. Hmm. This is a uh, Ray Allen. You know, you gotta pick up your Boston gear when you see it. Um, it's a good jersey. It's one of the official NBA Adidas jerseys. Uh, you said there was a stain on it, didn't you? Yeah, it does have a little spot on the front, but we'll be able to get it out. It was, uh, I'm not seeing it right now. It was on the yeah, green part. Yeah, barely noticeable stain. Ray Allen's kind of like, he was a popular player when he was here. Somebody Weren't you just saying his... he was your favorite player? If you okay. No, he never was. Pierce always was. No, uh, but you, or no, you were telling me you thought he was the best Celtics player ever. Oh, like, no, I never would have said that. No, who was it they were saying? It was, maybe it was I Pierce. Think Bird's the best Celtics no, player No, 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 no. It was like someone in that era who you were saying you thought was whatever. Maybe Garnett? Yes, that's who it was, Garnett. No, yeah, Pierce was always my favorite, but all right, you guys probably find us boring. <laughs> so <laughs> let's move on. No need to talk about the Celtics <laughs> in 2008 anymore. Um, okay, this was a dress from Lily Pulitzer. I think it's an older style. It's a size six, but some of these Lily Pulitzer dresses do really well, and I usually sell them. Even the less desirable ones, the least I've gotten is in the 20s. So, um. Um, and they also have style numbers here, which, yeah, it's from 2011, so definitely an older piece, but the style numbers make it really easy to look up, um, look up stock photos for. Catches the eye. Yeah, it's really pretty. Maybe I'll, like, this is very my mom. I honestly might give that to my mom. Summer dress. Yeah. Uh, these are Madewell jeans. I always pick up Madewell jeans. Um, full price, half price, doesn't matter. Go jeans. Um, what do you think we're gonna see that? Mm, what style are they? 
These are the 8 inch high rise skinny and the size is 31. Because they're 31 and I feel like usually I find Madewell jeans in smaller sizes. I guess that might, probably I'll list them around 45. I have to look up comps. But then the 8 inch is actually a little bit of an older style I think. Let me look at the ear tag on these. Yeah, definitely. Um, a little bit older so probably we'll get in the 30s or 40s for those. Not bad. I always, like I said, I always pick them up. They always sell pretty quickly too. This one is just a J. Crew sweater, and it's actually an older J. Crew tag, and I can look at the year on it. Um, Seventeen, so not super old, but I just love this cardigan. It's Madewell makes a cardigan like this. They call it, I think, the coziest yarn. It's an open front cardigan, and it's just a really neutral color. I feel like this. Oh, it's got a little pillow feather on it but yeah I just feel like this style is you can't beat it if this were my size I would definitely keep it and it looks more like a Madewell piece than J. Crew to me so I don't pick up a lot of J. Crew, but sometimes a piece catches my eye like that the material is so soft let me look yeah, at what it is, it is. it's nylon wool alpaca elastane yes this exact material is the Madewell coziest yarn that they make a lot of sweaters in my favorite sweaters are from that material um athletic jeans uh, I this is the first time I've actually ever found athletic jeans. So yeah, I I found them, but I always kind of thought they didn't sell well, and then I looked up comps on these, and they were actually pretty good. I good think size too, 16. thirty bucks. Um, we got to we're gonna list them at thirty bucks, twenty nine. I think so. Yeah, probably twenty nine. I I don't remember the comps off the top of my head. Two percent spandex. I got a little stretch, and they're a good size, and they're in really good shape. So they need a little wash, but those Ap will be good. Athletic always does well for us, so we'll yeah. see what the jeans do. I've just never tried the jeans before. I figured like if you're shopping for athletic clothes, you go to Athleta, but I guess people shop for the jeans too. This next one is going to the Real Real. The brand is Robert Rodriguez. I think this is an older tag, but this is this brand retails for a ton of money. I've actually found it new with tags before, and I didn't. It was before I knew about the Real Real, um, and it didn't sell super well on Poshmark. Like the new with tags pants probably retailed for four twenty five or something, and they sat in my Poshmark closet forever. I finally got rid of them for. $20 or something like that, but um, I've never sent it into the real real, so I'm excited to see how this brand does there. I imagine it will do better than on Poshmark. Um, I was just looking at the material because this is such an interesting fabric. It sort of feels like, uh, how would you describe this? Like wicker or something? Yeah, it's like a strange straw type of almost, wicker. But straw. it's just cotton polyester, so... Uh, I really don't know. Or viscose cotton. So You're right, it's like hay. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, it feels like hay. But it's a pretty little jacket. Uh, another pair of Madewell jeans I found. I had good luck with Madewell this trip. I found a bunch of Madewell. It's supposed to be blue like that, right? Um, there's some dye transfer from like the material of the jeans, but that's not a huge problem. This one's a 10 inch high rise skinny. That's size a newer 28. style. 28. 28. That's a decent size. Decent size. Like a medium. Um, full price, what? but oh yeah, these well. are definitely these are from 2018. Yeah, good looking jeans, made well. We talk a lot about size and good sizes and bad sizes. Obviously, every size is a good size, like in terms of people. But for reselling, we found that larger sizes do a lot better for us. Like when we go through our old inventory of stuff that hasn't sold, it's almost all. Jeans in a size zero or twenty five, and then shirts in a size extra small or extra extra small. That's so, a good point. We should just be saying good bad size. But yeah, <laughs> no, we all have no judgment about any size of people, but for reselling, we prefer to pick up larger sizes. I guess there's just more of people buying larger sizes. I'm not sure. This next item is from the brand Alice and Olivia, which is another brand accepted at the Real Real. It's a size small. I believe it's silk. It's kind of like a. I don't know this. Print reminds me of seaweed or something. Um, dress and it has a belt. And I'm trying to think. I have a couple Alice and Olivia dresses on the real room right now. I think I sold one recently and made like 30, 40 bucks on it. So we're gonna list that for. Um they listed probably around eighty, I'd say is what they're gonna list it at, if I had to guess. Oh. Oh, you're sending it to the real room. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. No. <laughs> <laughs> I zone out a lot. And another pair of Madewell jeans. This looks like an older tag. Let me see. Oh, these ones are cool. Yeah, these are pretty old. They're from 2015. But these pants are amazing. 
They've got these pockets in the front. Uh, you yeah, don't you see those very before. often. I feel like when I do see them, they're also on flare leg jeans, but these are just a skinny leg. So they're a smaller size. They look small, yeah. High waisted sailor jeans. Oh no, they're twenty eight. Hmm. Yeah, these are great. I have no these idea cool. what the comps are on those. Is that what I sailor cool. jean is? Has pockets in the front. I don't know. I think it was spelled with a Y, sailor. Twice like the, the amount of pockets. <laughs> hold yeah. twice the amount of things. You can hold fun. four phones in there. There you go. This next dress is from the brand Rails, which typically makes um, flannels and stuff like that. And it did have some wear on the armpits, which I'm going to try to get out. It might be hard to capture on the boat, on the camera. It's just an adorable linen dress with um, with cherries. <laughs> it ties in the front. I thought this was great. So summery, totally out of season, but I cannot leave this there. And I'm oh, tapped you know, out of clothes. I just clothes. noticed another oh. stain. Man, that's pretty bad. Ugh. I wish I had seen that before. But fortunately, it's white, so we can be a little bit more aggressive with a little bit of bleach on there or something to try to get it out. And I'm officially tapped out of clothes. I should do a little bell in the video. <laughs> nice. Still See how long I get. Nice. Oh, 10 minutes exactly. Yeah. These pants are from a brand called Alam Alambika, I think is how you say it. It's a, um is Israeli brand that makes sort of lagging look items um but it's interesting i feel like a lot of lagging look is marketed toward an older population and this brand all is definitely marketed toward a younger population which i think is great and these are some flare leg pants i guess i think it's great because everyone should wear lag and look it's amazing and comfy and beautiful they are sort of textured material and they have pockets. These are incredible. I'm not sure. I think a size two. They do a different sizing than small, medium, large, but I think a two is around a medium. This was a new to me brand. It's called um, Persifor. Persifor. It was new with tags, and that's why I looked it up. And it was also very pretty. This brand has really good comps. The dresses were selling, I think, in the $40 range, and I don't even know if I looked specifically at New Tags dresses. It has pockets. Full and price. Yeah, it was full price. I think everything so far has been full price. Your we went the dress. day before the tag shifted to the new half-off color. So basically, they clear by the end of the week, that when they're about to shift, they clear out all of the half-off items and bring them to their next stop on Goodwill trying to sell them. But yeah, this was funny. It's got like little fish that are silver or rose gold actually and uh, little frayed sleeves. I thought this was gorgeous. That was cool. This was also a new to me brand. I looked it up because this tag screamed real real to me, but it was not a brand that they accepted. It's called Sun Kim, but I still looked up comps on Poshmark and they were pretty high. Like some things from this brand were selling around $100. I'm hoping to get like $80 for this or $70. Why did that scream we'll over to you? Um, I guess it says made in the USA. Um, it's a person's name. A lot of their <laughs> items are people's names. Um, the way the tag is attached, this is actually sewn in. But a lot of higher end brands will do like a, um, what's the word? Like they'll, they'll, tack the tag i think is what it's called so they'll sew right here right here right here and right here but they'll yeah i guess this one does not follow that rule but i don't know i guess it just looks fancy too so they'll sew in the whole thing no good. so like here this is sewn all the way down i forget i learned this tip from someone on youtube and i wish i could credit them because i don't remember who it was maybe nicole state that sounds right but um the way that like, this tag is sewn all the way and i don't think i have anything here right now that's a tack tag, but I can try to point it out in another video. They'll only sew the corners. So that's just a tip sometimes to identify something that is higher end. But I think this is just a blouse. I thought it was really neat. I like the asymmetrical hem on the bottom. This shirt is from the brand Theory, which is a pretty, very high retail brand, but this is kind of just a basic tee. This is the newer theory tag, so that's the only theory tag that I pick up. There's an older one that's sort of longer and thinner. I don't pick that one up anymore. But it's just a basic blue t-shirt. Not expecting too much for that. Maybe 15 bucks. This one. Oh, I wish I remembered more about this brand. I thought the tag was interesting. It's from a brand called William Rast, which I have not sold before. Um, it's kind of like pink. a loungewear piece. Yeah, it's very pink. 
But I think it was uh, white. Got washed with a red shirt. No, it's not that kind of pink. Kind of oh, like one it. thing that kind of made me think that this was quality is the button has the designer's name engraved on it, which is another indicator that something might be worth looking up. I totally forget what the comps were on this. Probably like around twenty dollars or maybe thirty dollars, but I'll try it. This is another new to be new to me brand. The brand name is Talentless. Some things from this brand, like sweatshirts and some long sleeves even, were selling close to $100 um, on the resale market. This is just a basic t-shirt. Um, but I think it was probably getting around 30 bucks for just a plain black t-shirt. I'll take it. Uh, this next one is from the brand Cavi. I definitely need to do some work on the tag. It's got a little bit of like gunk on it. Or comps for that. Um, so Cavi is a brand that doesn't sell super high for me. It sells 15 to $20. I only pick up this newer square Cavi tag, but it sells so fast. I posted a sweater two days ago and it sold today or yesterday for $15. It's kind of very consistent. So when I find it, I pick it up, even though it's not going to bring me a ton of money, it's going to make me money fast. And this was cool. It's got, um, sort of like this puffing out detail on the, on the bottom and then it's cotton down here. So this is probably like polyester and cotton. And Cavi also, one thing I like about it, the style numbers are right on the tag, the style number. So it's really easy to look up the style and list it with stock photos and everything like that. I just have a couple more things here. This was from the brand C by Chloe, which is a brand I've never found before. This could be accepted at the real real, but honestly, I don't think I'm gonna send this shirt in because it's kind of like seen better days. It's a little dingy. I think it has some spots on it. Um, I mean, these shirts retail really high. C by, by Chloe. Chloe. It has a little spell out right here as well. But I'll probably get like $20, $25 for this. But for a plain t-shirt, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> what would they charge you, short sleeve? or? I don't know. I actually didn't look. Oh, this next one is gorgeous. I was looking down the legging aisle, and the legging aisle runs parallel to the dresses, which go, like, around the perimeter. And I saw this dress, like, this material sticking out, and I really just needed to go touch it. Does that ever happen? You see a material, and you're like, I just I need to touch that and feel it. And I'm so happy I did, because this dress is actually new with tags, and it's from Free People. So it's this gorgeous, uh, I don't know what I would call this material. This is cool. Look at that, it's huge. Yeah, it's a maxi dress with buttons the down the front and then this nice like skirt at the bottom. Oh my gosh, it's Kinda. amazing. And it retailed for $148, so... Christmas coming up, new with tags. Yeah, this, this would make a great gift, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I found another dress from a new to be brand. I looked it up because it felt like the dress was 100% linen. The brand is Studio 412, and it's a size medium. It's like a linen midi dress. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very classy kind of thing. I don't know. but Is this uh, an the A dress, this... A-line dress? Because it kind of makes an A? Yeah, maybe. In a way? Yeah. I'm trying to learn dresses better because I post on Mercari. <laughs> and you have to know so many categories. <laughs> it's so annoying. But yes, this dress probably will get around forty dollars. Again, there were some things from this brand that were selling pretty high, like fifty to sixty bucks. But wow. I think I decided this one would land around forty, maybe because it's a little bit plain. This last thing that I picked up was another new with tags item. Um, it's a pair of lounge pants, and it's from the brand Kuyan. Kuyan, I guess. It's a size medium. They is retailed for. $50. They're the Pima tapered pant. I think this brand from the research I was doing, I hadn't heard of it before, but it, it makes purses, but I guess it does also make some accessories. And I feel like a lot of companies will do that. They'll randomly just make loungewear because everyone loves loungewear, I guess. But um, yeah, they're Pima cotton modal. They were just really nice. They looked fancy. They look comfy too. Yeah, comfy. So another pair of pants that might've been white. No, these were definitely the color on the tag says blush. These oh. are these were always blush. Maybe I've just turned a lot of my clothes pink over yeah. the years. Yeah, and when you do that, they don't look this. They're like inconsistent. They don't look this beautiful. All right, is that it? That's it. So right. that was actually kind of an interesting haul. It's a bunch of brands that I've never seen before. So hopefully, maybe they were new to you. And this and I found helpful. a bunch of jeans. Okay, I found a bunch of Madewell jeans, and we can't complain about that. 
And um, Christmas is coming up. I think this video should go live on December 2nd. So wow. get those new with tags closed posted before it's too late. Seriously. And happy holidays. Thanks, guys.